Hello class, this is Miss Augustine, and today we are continuing in Chapter 11, which is the Gas Laws Chapter, and today we're talking about Boyle's Law. So, um, Robert Boyle uh, was an experimental physicist, I believe, um, and he experimented with the relationship between the pressure and the volume of gases. So what he did was he set up something called a J-tube and he put mercury in it and he played around with the pressure on the gas and what happened to the volume of the trapped gas. So what he determined was that as pressure increases on a gas, the volume decreases. So this is what his J-tube looked like. Um, so here you're going to see that there's a tube and he trapped some air in it by putting in some mercury. Remember, mercury is a liquid at room temperature. And he increased the pressure on the surface of the mercury, uh, which caused an increase in the pressure of this trapped air. And as he increased the pressure, the volume decreased. And if he decreased the pressure, on the gas, the volume increased again. So another way to look at this is, this is kind of a piston. If you had a container with a um, confined gas and you were to increase the pressure on it, the volume will decrease. And then again, if you decrease the pressure, your volume would increase. And if you recall, the particles in a gas are very far apart, so that allows them to be compressed in this fashion where if you try to do that with a solid, it doesn't work out quite so well because the particles are much closer together. So Boyle's experiments um, here, what he did was he um, recorded pressures and volumes and looked at the relationship, and the relationship is shown here in this graph. This is what we would refer to as an inverse relationship. As pressure goes up, volume goes down. As pressure goes down, volume goes up. Again, this is an inverse relationship. When one increases, the other decreases. So we can put that into a mathematical expression. So Boyle's uh, law is uh, written in a mathematical way as P times V equals a constant. And that's because there's this inverse relationship. If one goes up, the other goes down. So when you multiply them together, they equal a constant. So where P is pressure, V is volume, and K is a constant at constant temperature, pressure and volume can be expressed as P1 V1 equals a constant. The new conditions would be P2 V2 equals a constant. And since that constant doesn't change, again, we've got pressure is, uh, excuse me, temperature is constant. And we're talking about a fixed volume of a gas. So again, when I'm talking about this constant, we're talking about a specific sample of a gas. And we're talking about what happens as you increase and decrease the variables. So initial conditions would be P1 and V1. Uh, new conditions would be P2 and V2. So again, our equation for Boyle's Law is P1 V1 equals P2 V2. And it's important to remember that when we're talking about Boyle's Law, we're talking about conditions of constant temperature. There will be a second video where I actually solve problems for you. So for now, this is Miss Augustine signing off.